Hi, Hans Lemerson here. So I've gotten the basic wiring set up uh, for hooking up th my CPU to program memory. I've gotten uh, these these four lines connected to the decoder, and then the A input, the B input, and the output address. Uh, all nice groups of four, which go off on their merry way and connect to their proper location. Now, the downside, a bit of a downside, is that these long wires are going to add some delay, but it won't be too bad, hopefully. If I had uh, planned a little more carefully, I might have been able to uh, make this uh, whole apparatus more compact. But I'm pre pretty happy with, with it so far. The program memory uh, each line here will contain torches, and the torches will go over wire. Uh, when when a line is normally the normally the the wire here will be on, suppressing all the torches, and when it and only one will be off at a time, uh, and its torches will light up, and that's how the data will get transmitted. I haven't set up the decoder, the address decoder for the program memory yet. Uh, it's probably going to go over here, and my project is a little wider than I thought it was going to be. I'll have to move this uh, ALU prototype that I built a couple months ago. Yeah, so this is this is what it looks like when you have to uh, when you yeah or organize a bunch of wires to all fit together into a parallel. Uh, into a parallel unit. It takes a lot of corner, a lot of rounding of corners, and I had to correct some errors where I had left and right reversed. That's a really big problem when you turn corners, getting left and right backwards. And it turns out I'd previously compensated for that, but then I compensated again and cancelled out my compensation, and when I got everything set up properly, it turned out some other stuff was backwards. But everything is fixed now. It all works. Pretty sure. Yeah, I, I've i set this up with the 1100 c function command, for so it's now... so it's just taking in these inputs directly. And you can still kind of make out this place, and it's the same as what the inputs are, which is good. Now these wires are going to connect to the program counter and uh <coughs> yeah and it will be what I use for branching for loading it for loading a new value into the program counter rather than just incrementing to the next rather than going plus one plus one plus one I could say jump to program line fifteen just and say go there that's what these are for but I might have to reverse them left and right again in order to get the wiring right. That's been a fun challenge. So that's what what I did on the CPU last night, and I'm going to do some more progress this evening. Oh yeah, and I recolored this line from orange to magenta so that it would be less confusing. Well, it doesn't show up quite as well, but it eh, it works. Also, I changed the direction it went. So it did otherwise it would have hugely interfered with this wiring. Yep, so that's what I've got so far. And I hope this computer will work out pretty nicely. I'm going to I'll try to see how fast I can clock it, but I'm going to start off cautious at a 30 tick or 3 second cycle and then try to speed it up. So I'll and then I'll find out what are the symptoms of overclocking a CPU. I've never done it before. Partly because I've never actually made a CPU before. I've known how to do it for a while but not actually made one. So this is my first real computer. Yeah. Okay, Hans Lemerson signing out.